Well, good morning, folks. I've got this old Pyramid power supply that's probably been uh, about 15 years now it's been stored away. So uh, uh, I just uh, recently unearthed this, so I figured, uh, oh, what the hell, I'll take it apart since um, something of this vintage is probably not a, uh, it's not a good idea uh, to just plug it in and turn it on. Uh, you know, bad things could generally happen, so... Um, I'm going to pull it apart and make sure everything's okay with it and check caps and things like that before I do all that. So, uh, you know, it's um, it's a big sucker. Um, I was curious as to how much it weighed and it come in at uh, uh, just over 25 kilos, so, oh, 55-ish uh, pounds. It's pretty heavy. So, um, anyways, I'm going to take it apart and uh, we're going to see what's inside of it. So, uh, hopefully... Uh, Hopefully this will work out. So set the camera down and point it down at it and uh, you know put a screwdriver to it and take it apart. So um, anyways I've had this thing for quite some time and uh, used to use this with uh, with big amplifiers uh, when I was repairing them uh, be it uh, RF amplifiers or audio amplifiers. Um, you know, in all reality, it was actually mostly audio amplifiers. Big, um, big uh, car stereo audio amplifiers. When I used to repair those, uh, that's what I used this for. So, uh, you know, it can deliver the power. Um, it can't deliver. It can't deliver all of the power required in a lot of cases with some of the some of your uh, your larger amplifiers. But uh, it can certainly uh, be useful for uh, most smaller amplifiers probably around the uh, 100 or 200 watt range so uh, damn this thing's got a bunch of screws so luckily luckily they're not rusted in place but, uh, here we go I think it should come open now oh, there it goes so there's the guts see two big bridge rectifiers over here those are probably 25 amperes, if not more. Um, don't have very many taps in this transformer. So, it uh, looks like they took two windings here to make a, and join those together. These are, these are obviously two separate windings. Um, and they've joined them together here for a center tap. So, uh, if this is a 12 to 15 volt power supply, um, I'm going to guess that uh, each one of those windings is probably going to be 8 volts. Uh, that's just my guess. I mean, that's how I would probably do it. And um, it's probably a good thing that I opened this up because I already see something that is very ominous. Oh, yes, this is very, very ominous. Um, take a gander at this cap. I don't know how this is going to show up. You see that guy right there? Oh yeah, that's um, that's really tight. Yeah, that's ominous right there. Um, very ominous. I think that that guy has definitely pulled out. That's uh, yeah, that's that's finished. So uh, they look a little puffy too. So I have a feeling. Yeah, they're that's puffy. That's puffy. So I have a feeling that. Uh, that new capacitors are in order for this. They're uh, 10,000 10, microfarads at 25 volts, and there's uh, five of them there, and uh, room for a sixth that's not populated. Or it's rolling around in here someplace, and I just haven't found it yet. So, um, hmm, I don't remember doing a fan repair on this, but um, it looks like at some point uh, maybe I did muck around with a fan. So. Anyways, yeah, see, this is why you, uh, you're you best taking these things apart. And, uh, oh boy, that's another ominous thing right there. That's very ominous as well. Check this out. That's been um, chafed really badly there. I don't know how well this is showing up on the camera. But, uh, let's see if I can't zoom in that wire. 
There we go. That right there. Come on, camera. There you go. Yeah, that's uh, that's bad news. So, uh, yeah, it looks like um, it looks like my old uh, 50 some odd amp power supply is uh, is definitely a a repair job. So if I'm ever going to use this guy, I'm definitely going to have to go over this thing, and uh, I'm just going to have to recap it. I mean, this cap is just sitting here flapping in the wind. Um, hell, it's actually only being held in here by the glue. It's it's completely out. Um, it it had it's it's busted loose. So um, there you have it. And it definitely um, don't know how well that's showing up on the camera, but it's definitely puffy. It's pretty obviously puffy. So uh, just out of curiosity, uh, let's see how it looks. It probably and the irony behind it is is this is it'll probably uh, work to a certain extent. Fail. <laughs> nope. So yeah, uh, that's that's uh, that's all we've got going on here. Now uh, we got some big PV power transistors in here, and I don't know what um, what what number they are. They're uh, TO3 cans, 2N3771s. Oh yes, uh, definitely familiar with those. So it's going to need a clean and. Um, it's definitely going to need all these caps replaced. And this board that they're sitting on, uh, it's sitting on standoffs, but it looks like the standoffs might have been bo uh, bo broken uh, loose because it definitely seems crooked, this board. It's definitely, and it's loose to boot. Uh, well, that's only because they got a plastic uh, standoff down here in the corner. Um, just one of those little plastic rubbish uh, standoffs. So. Yeah, that's not the best. Although they've got a screw down here, but yeah, it's gonna need some work. But uh, I'm sure I can um, I can make this go again. Uh, these um, yellow wires are clearly labeled B on the circuit board. I'm gonna guess that's base because um, these are just gonna be NPN transistors. In fact, it looks like one. It looks like some of the leads. Um, that are just sticking out of there. They're they're just coming through holes in the heat sink and they're just insulated with like a uh, uh, plastic uh, sleeve or something. And some of them are just coming dangerously close to touching the heat sink. So um, yeah, it's not the best uh, quality power supply in the world. That's for sure. They um, definitely uh, it definitely worked. I do remember using this for for that uh, purpose, but. Um, I don't remember it being in this bad of shape, so um, I mean it is what it is. So I'm gonna have to sort this all out, um, get over this power supply board, and give this thing a because uh, this is this is the uh, regulator right here. Um, this is the uh, the guts of the unit essentially. Um, that wire, that black wire coming off that center tap, it's up here um, and going down is very short um, they could have they could have used a little bit done with a little bit more wire on that so I'll probably lengthen that just a bit because that's really tight and that's probably why that cap uh, uh, that cap bit it because that wire is wrapping around it that thing's flapping around and you know moving it around banging it so on and so forth uh, that was the end of that so Looks like we got a repair job, so I guess I need to figure out how much it's going to cost me for uh, six of these um, of these caps, ten thousand twenty-five. So find out what it's going to cost me. Uh, it's definitely worth repairing this power supply because I want to use it for um, uh, for some repairs. So that's why I dragged it out. And uh, let's see if we can go to Newark. Or element 14 for uh, uh, all you uh, Euro guys. There it is. So, what is a 10,000 microfarad capacitor at 25 volts going to cost me? Uh, let's see. 
So, other than that, I guess everything is okay in here. Um, let's see, I want an, uh, obviously I want an aluminum electrolytic. Uh, Five dollars a piece, roughly, give or take, uh, for a 50 volt. And uh, made by Panasonic, so it's a, a decent cap. So, yeah, it's going to cost me, you know, 30 bucks roughly in caps to uh, to throw some caps in this. So, uh, that's probably worth it. Uh, these little guys here, um, uh, uh, that's got that ominous brown glue in it. And uh, I'll, I would just change these, um, these for posterity. Oh, that's shut up. Those LCR meters I have, the B&K Precisions, they love to start beefing. Um, not sure what's going on with this. Uh, that must be the current sense right there. Um, I don't like how that's done. Um, there's the ammeter, and it doesn't have a shunt across it. That's another thing about this, you know. There's no shunt across the back of this ammeter. We just have these two little pissant wires. And... Um, this blue one that's over here so there must be a shunt on the board here and uh, that's how they're doing the current detection so eh, you know this is definitely not an Agilent uh, you know or a, even a B&K or you know a really uh, decent power supply so you know it, it is what it is I don't remember what this thing cost but I can't recall that it was very much um, you know, an equivalent power supply from, uh, you know, an Agilent or a, or a B&K or uh, any of those, uh, you know, TII, any of those good uh, good manufacturers of power supplies, this is, it's going to cost you a boatload of money. So this is definitely, um, you know, the cheap of the cheap. Uh, big, beefy mains transformer, though. Um, can it deliver 50 amps? Uh, maybe. Uh, it looks like uh, the windings are doubled up on that, so it, it's possible uh, that it could. It certainly uh, uh, looks like you could do it. So, anyways, so I need some caps. Uh, I need to fix this uh, really badly chafed, and I'm not even sure how in the world that happened. Um, you know, how to figure out what's going on there. That's the insulation is just completely gone on that thing so uh, that's uh, that's that has me concerned you know as to what in the world uh, could something have gotten into this thing because you know it's been uh, been in a shed so um, there's absolutely no telling so I'm gonna break it apart I'm gonna check it out order some caps um, figure out how to redo this board in here because I'm really not very thrilled with this at all I mean all of these caps are loose you know, they didn't even silicone these bastards down to the board. They're all loose. Uh, they did that one, unless it's just all of them have busted off. But, you know, this one's this one's not puffy, and this one's not puffy, and neither is this one. But this one is, and the one that, I, the one that was just floating around in there uh, is definitely puffy. These are uh, 105C, um, E, and a triangle. I'm not familiar with them at all probably just Chinese uh, a Chinese capacitor so anyways um, that's about it so just a just a quick uh, early video first one of 2015 um, nothing else really going on just waiting for some boards for some other projects to get here from the board house and uh, you know slap those together put those in a radio and we'll see how well that works so um, Anyways, uh, hope that was interesting. Um, till uh, till next time, I actually get the uh, uh, the caps and put them in. I'll pull this board out and uh, see um, see how uh, how horrible this is. Because I'm willing to bet that, uh, that this isn't all that great. Oh, they see that side popped out of that standoff. So that's that's what's going on there. That's just completely popped out. That standoff is uh, it's one of those plastic ones. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get it back in there. That's why that's sitting up in the air like that. They have two plastic ones in the back there. And a screw back here. So, um, and I'm sure that that's because of this. This is just 
ridiculous in how short this is. I have a feeling, just from observation on this board, that there is an open spot back here. You've got three uh, holes in the circuit board. These two wires are, are and they're all labeled AC, and you've got this one that comes from one bridge rectifier, this one that's coming from the other bridge rectifier, and this third one that's not populated. This black wire was probably intended to go there, and, um, you know, instead, they put it over here for whatever reason. There's just not enough wire to reach it, and so it's stretched across uh, this whole unit and across those caps, and, uh, you know, they just shoved it in there the best they could and sent it on its way. Uh, so, you know, and over time, it's probably just been sitting there and, um, you know, it popped loose. Or it's just popped loose that whole time and I just never knew it. So, anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.